Pattern brushes utilize pattern swatches to create the pattern that appears in the brush. In this version of Illustrator, however, this process has gotten easier than ever with a new feature called Automatic Corner Generation. Let's explore how this works. I'm beginning this video with the pattern.ai file already open on my computer. And you can see we've already created some pattern brushes that have been applied to this artwork. And I've left these here so you can see examples of what they look like. Now let's first explore the traditional method of creating these pattern brushes. So the first step was that we had to take a piece of existing artwork and make it a pattern swatch. So if I go to the object menu, go to pattern and choose make, you can see that I get a dialog box telling me the pattern has been added to the swatches panel. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK and I'm going to call this LBV uh, side because this is the side of the pattern that I'm creating. And we'll leave the tile type set to grid, that's fine. And then we can go ahead and get out of here, just back out of that. And if you look in your swatches panel now, I'm going to go ahead and view these as a large thumbnail just to make it a little bit easier to see. You can see the pattern has been applied. Now typically the pattern is used to fill an object, right? So if I choose this object and apply a pattern, it fills it with this repeat pattern. Now, that's not what I want to do here, so I'm going to undo that. And then the other portion of this is you also had to create patterns for how the corners were going to be created. So what I'm going to do, just very quickly, is using my rectangle tool, I am going to set my fill to black and my stroke to none. And I'm just going to draw a square that is about the same width as this pattern. And with this selected, I'm going to go to Object, Pattern, Make. And I'll go ahead and give this one a name of LBV Corner. There we go. And then I can just go ahead and double click to exit out of there. And now we have, it's hard to see here, but this is our LBV Corner and there's our LBV side. So, how do we make a pattern brush out of that? Well, it's pretty simple. We open up our brushes panel and either from the panel menu choose new brush or simply click the new brush button down here at the bottom. And in the new brush dialog box, I'm going to choose to create a pattern brush. And I'll go ahead and click OK. Now, I'm going to call this my LBV pattern brush manual since I created this manually. And here is where I choose the patterns that are found in my swatches panel to create the brush. So for example, for my outer corner tile, I'm going to scrub down and I'm going to choose the LBV corner. And then for the side tile, I'm going to scroll down and choose the LBV side. And you can see as I start adding these, it starts giving me a preview of what the brush is going to look like. So for my inside corner, I'm going to choose that same LBV corner. And then if I wanted to, I could also create a starting and ending tile. So if you wanted to create a certain icon or a certain pattern for an open path, you could certainly do that. We have a whole bunch of options here. We can flip the pattern along the path, or we can flip it across the path, as you see here. Not much of a difference for this particular pattern. And then we can also control how the pattern is applied to the path. So in this example, it's stretching to fit, or we can have it add space to make it fit. Because remember, those patterns are not going to match up perfect for every particular line segment that we draw. So, and then you can also have it approximate the path, um, which is another method. You can also choose your colorization method down here. So for this example, I'm just going to choose tints and key color is irrelevant because hue shift is the one we would need to use uh, for defining a key color. So we'll just leave it set to tints and I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And now we have our brush. So to show you how this works, if I click on this object and I apply my brush, you can see that the brush is now being applied to this object. And I'm going to have to reduce the stroke considerably. Let's make it like a quarter of a point. There we go. Maybe maybe even smaller, like 0.15. There we go. And you see how this is going to appear when it is created. Now, let's take a look at the new automatic corner generation feature. 
So this way, there's a lot less work and Illustrator does a lot of the work for us. So to create a pattern brush the new way, I'm going to select my pattern and I'm just gonna drag and drop it into the brushes panel. In the new brush dialog, I'm gonna choose to create a pattern brush and I'm gonna click OK. Now, this is where the magic happens because remember, all we did was created a side tile, which is the requirement. And I'm gonna call this LBV Pattern Automatic. There you go. And you can, again, adjust the scaling factor, whether you wanna use fixed or by pressure, stylus wheel tilt bearing rotation. I'm gonna leave mine set to fixed and you can also tweak the spacing as well. But the part that I really want to point out to you is that the side tile is automatically added here. Take a look at what we have here. If you click on the drop down menu, you'll see a whole list of automatically generated patterns that we can choose from. So for example, for my outer corner here, maybe I'll choose this one. And now you can see that I didn't have to draw this or anything, it's automatically being created. What about our inner corner? Well, I can click on this and maybe I can choose another inner corner automatically generated tile as well. So I'm going to choose this one and you can see now how the pattern is being applied and it's done with a lot less work on your part. So you could tell these are automatically generated by this little orange icon in the upper right hand corner. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK and Again, now I'm going to select this object. I'm going to change the color. Let's go ahead and make this a red stroke. And then I'm going to go ahead and go back to my brushes panel and I'm going to choose the new one that we created. And when I choose that, you can see the nice result that we get for the brush that we created. Let's take a look at one more example. I'm going to move over here to this one. Once again, I can select this object, drag and drop. It's as easy as that. Go to our pattern brush, click OK. And again, we now have some automatically generated corner patterns that we can choose. So maybe I would choose, I don't know, this one looks pretty cool, uh, that they apply to the, the corner. I can even apply a different one to the inner corner. Maybe I'll use, say, this one. That looks pretty cool. Uh, again, colorization method, if you wish, and click OK. And now when I apply that brush to my shape, to make it a lot smaller here, maybe make it like 0.15, we can now see the brush that's been created. And just to, to show you, if you wanted to visually see how this brush looks as you make the adjustments, now that you have it applied to a path, double click on the brush, and now you can make additional adjustments, such as add space to fit, um, stretch to fit and if you turn on your preview you'll be able to see this dynamically so approximate path so on and so forth um, you can even come up here and start tweaking the spacing so we can apply like a 30 percent fixed spacing or you can tell it to apply it based on on other properties so uh, I'll go ahead and click OK apply that to my strokes again to change the color on this one uh, we can simply choose a different color for the stroke and that'll be applied to our pattern brush. Now one final thing I'd like to show you with these pattern brushes, which is also a new feature inside of Illustrator, is that if I move down here into the lower right corner, I have an image that I've placed in this document. And what I can do with an embedded image is I can drag this to my brushes panel, create a pattern brush, and click OK. And you can see that it automatically added this brush as a side panel. But take a look in here. It has automatically generated patterns based on images for how you might want to create these corners. And so for example, you know, maybe I want to use the auto in between for both the inside and the outside corner. And you can see how now in the latest version of Illustrator, how not only can we create a pattern brush out of an image, but we also have automatic corner generation as well. And we also get the combination of the two. We get automatic corner generation when creating images for pattern brushes as well. It doesn't get much better than that. 
and I encourage you to practice using these brushes on your own.